welcome to another vlog, guys. I thought that I would start this video in the bedroom because last video, um, actually it might not have been my last video. It is up now though. A little a transformation of this room, making it super cozy. But I just wanna say thank you for the support on that video. It means so much to me. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up above. But today, today's video is very exciting. Don't we all, don't we all YouTubers say, today's video is so exciting. Today's video is actually very exciting because I wonder if I put this right here. Oh no, that lighting would be wretched. Because I am taking my mom on a secret date. If you have been around my channel for some time or if you follow me on Instagram since 2018, you'll know Scotty and I, pre-COVID, love to take each other on secret dates, which means we plan a whole date and we say, this is what you need to wear, this is what time you have to be ready, go. And we just basically plan these little dates for each other. And we've been to Game of Thrones Orchestra, which was so dope. Um, Scotty took me to the Friends play, which was so fun. And yeah, there's been tons of them. But today I'm actually taking my mom on a secret date and it is her Christmas present. So. We all know parents can either be so easy or so hard to buy for, for the holidays. And my favorite presents to give and to get are always experiences. And my dad is always around helping with these renos and everything. And my poor mom doesn't get to get in any videos. So I was like, mom, I'm also vlogging today, just so you know. So she is well aware the camera will be out. And we are going on a secret date. We're, I'm taking her downtown Hamilton to this place called Play With Clay. It's on Lock Street. There is also another one in Guelph if you are closer to that area. I will link them both down below. I've purchased this myself and it's going to be a little private session to learn how to spin clay. And I don't know what we're gonna be making, maybe a bowl. I feel like that is the natural thing to make, a bowl or a mug or something like that. I have never done this before, and I am so excited to get started. Let me show the outfit that I have chosen to wear today. <laughs> All right, kids, here we go. <laughs> I've got my little glasses on from Bon Look. I was just doing some work on the computer, and they're just blue light glasses, so that's helpful. I have my Ana Luisa earrings on. They're like these little tiny cards with stars on them, as well as my Raimi necklace and Amelia this year. Let me turn it around so you can really see it. Amelia this year has absolutely been killing it with her Raimi collection. This top is probably one of the softest tops that I have. Holy crow, it is so soft. Can you guess where it's from? Can you guess? I got it for Christmas from my mom and she actually got it from Mark's Work Warehouse. I think they just go by Mark's now. And I was thinking when I opened it up, I wasn't 100% sure about the color, but I really do like it. This waffle pattern and it's so nice and soft. And the reason why I want to wear it is because I can really easily push off my sleeves like when we're doing the thing, but also stay warm because today is a very cold day. But I was also thinking when I opened it up, Scott and my brother both got cardigans for Christmas as well from my mom. It's like such a classic present that she gets them. And I was like, oh, it's from Mark's, cute. But I was being such a retail snob <laughs> because if I had opened it up and it was from Aritzia, I would have been like, oh my God, I love it. So. I had to like park those feelings and be like, you need, you need, you need to relax and actually look at the garment. And that's what I'm gonna be doing in 2022 more than anything else. And I love it. And if it was from somewhere else, I would've been like, oh my God, this is amazing. But Mark actually has incredible, incredible clothing. One thing they also do have is Levi's. Now, I didn't get these Levi's at Mark's, but they most certainly have them. They actually sell more Levi's than Levi's, which is crazy. So this is my cute little outfit. Mark, shout out to you. I will be visiting you more for knits and I highly recommend that you guys check it out too. I will also link it down below because the other great thing about Mark's when it comes to knitwear, super affordable. With all of that being said, kids, it is time to go pick up the Bonster. And that means I'm picking her up at 1 p.m. Our lesson is at three. She legitimately has no idea what we're doing. She's like, do I dress warm? Do I need warm footwear? Like what's going on? She's concerned because Vaughn has not been out in a while. COVID things. We are also gonna be so careful with masks, but um, yeah, I think she's just really excited to have a little secret date. 
and I hope you're ready to come along too. <laughs> Let's do this. Also, it's at one, our lesson's at three. We're gonna go for coffee before and maybe do a little holiday shopping downtown Hamilton. Bye. How are you feeling, Rosie? You feeling good? <laughs> you, you excited for the date? So I have just arrived at my parents' house. I wouldn't be surprised if my mom's literally waiting at the door. She's so excited. We're gonna see if she has any idea. We're gonna do some clues along the way, but first I'm gonna take her to lunch. Hopefully she hasn't eaten yet. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, you guys are so much bigger than Rose. I even threatened to take away his banana bread and cookies. I was like, do you know that? Do you have any guesses? We'll do some guesses during it. Do you have no, we're not going axe throwing. We're not let me have a hatchet. We're not going axe throwing and we're not doing anything outside. So no guesses so far? Anything? Okay, that's your first guess. Aw. And you, Casey. So hard to see. So hard to see. All right, she's in. She's in. Where are we going? <laughs> it's like just when you haven't been out for so long, you're like, oh, I now I understand why I had dogs. my daughter to myself for so long. Now I understand. The pandemic made me realize why dogs get so excited for walks. Also, the one thing missing from our Christmas, the one thing that would have made it a perfect Christmas, has arrived, which means we had a perfect Christmas. I had it. Mom, Did I plug it? Plug what in? I'm working on it. <laughs> Have you eaten? Um, I had oh, yeah. breakfast. Okay, let's go get lunch. Okay. This was our first Polaroid. So cute. We are going to Lock Street and we're going to lunch at one of my absolute favorite places ever. And hot tip for you guys, behind the Starbucks there is this huge lot where you can do like coin parking, but if you go past that lot, like behind it into the neighborhood, there's this really cutie um, community garden. Wow, that kale is thriving. <laughs> That's gonna be bitter. Um, there's a really cute community garden, and I suggest definitely in the summer when you come to Lock Street to go shopping to park behind here, because one, parking is free, and two, Sometimes there's sunflowers and you can walk around there and see what's growing. We're gonna go to the burnt tongue. We are at the burnt tongue. Oh, oh, she wants the presentation, guys. She knows. Logger extraordinaire. <laughs> what did you get, Mom? I have butternut squash and way too many carbs. <laughs> <laughs> no such thing on a secret date. And then I got, I have no idea, it was the last one. Smoked bacon, rapini, rapini and chives. Oh my goodness gracious, that looks incredible. And mushrooms in there. Bon appetit. <laughs> There's so many cute places on Lock Street right now. Mom has some memories of going to a pizza place close, but I can't remember. Yeah, I do. We, and we sat outside and had pizza. Oh, Naroma. It's up the street. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're well, thinking I of Naroma. I sitting outside. Oh, RIP. That was the best pizza ever. There is actually a Naroma now downtown Burlington. Highly recommend. But now we are hearts full, belly full. Belly full. But. And there's more. We need to get caffeinated. So let's go. Lead the way, miss. I know, we almost got run over. <laughs> We're quite dramatic though. We didn't really. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> well, just, just a little bit run over is enough for me. <laughs> oh. Okay, we have our coffee. Um, I don't know if you could hear us. Mom got a cappuccino, two sugars. I got a peppermint mocha, and we are off to our secret date. <laughs> We're gonna paint clay. 
We're not gonna paint clay. We're gonna make clay. Ooh. Yeah, okay, are you ready to, oh, maybe we should wait because they've got a little family in there. All right, we can wait. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was something like this. Yeah, are you excited? Yeah. That's where my mom got her Christmas tree. Aw. Guys, not only are we at Play With Clay, but Isabel is here. <laughs> Isabel is actually the owner of the spot here in Hamilton on Lock Street. There's also another location in Guelph, like I mentioned. But are you taking us through the lesson today? I am, I'm gonna be oh, with you today. She's with us all day. <laughs> so we'll get tons of shots, but we wanna be in the moment too. So I'll probably just set up the camera and we'll talk to you all about the experience after. <laughs> cool? Works for me. Yeah, this might be a little night. So yes. We don't touch okay. like this oh my gosh. Again. The first one, I call it the first pancake. It's the burn piece. <laughs> the burn piece is yeah. the first one. We're gonna make four pieces today, mom. What do you think you wanna make? What are we making? What do you think is the easiest well, to make here? We can make little bowls. We can yeah. make little bud vases, little <gasps> cups and mugs. Oh. We can make lots of things. We should make a matching one, Mom. Yeah. A little ring, ring, ring holder. holder. Oh, I yeah. love that. Yeah. A ring holder. For okay, sure. I definitely, yeah. Let's do that for sure. <laughs> Cute! Oh, it's gonna get there. So, mom is an incredible baker, as you guys. Okay, my bowl is done. No, your bowl is done. Oh, you are brilliant! <laughs> what? And Isabel said there are a lot of parallels between this and baking, so I think you're gonna be a, a quite literal star at this, okay. but first impressions of feeling. Oh, I feel oh. like I'm like back at kids' school. I still have your right? work on the kitchen counter. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's get this set up and sorted. I'm just too excited with, I feel like we're gonna get some great shots. So I'm just gonna put this right here. Sitting on the windowsill. Oh, cute. Well, I love this. You're already intuitively like. Yeah, she's like, <laughs> yeah, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> now what? <laughs> Okay, was that a good secret day? It was an awesome secret day. Oh my goodness. Aww. Thank you, Isabel. Oh, you're so welcome. You guys did such a good job. Aww. <laughs> Nothing is better than spending time with your kids.
oh gosh, what's been going on here? I know. We definitely have to draw some banana bread. Yeah, we'll do that right now. We're walking to the car, we're getting Isabel some banana bread, and then it's very windy, so we'll tell you. Oh, I know. Oh, in my bag? Yeah. <laughs> There's no room for mom. Oh my goodness gracious. So, Isabel, so kindly, this was not anticipated, she so kindly gave us that session, complimentary. Oh. Mom started crying. <laughs> Cause you're a toasty marshmallow. That was just so kind. And we were like, no, no, no. So generous. She's been so much time. Yeah. Super sweet and super patient. So sweet. You couldn't go to a better place. You couldn't go to a better place. She's so just like, well, she's teaching you about it. You just, you feel so supported and not judged. I think that you don't feel judged. She's just like encouraging you the whole time. And we had so much fun. But it's just like being with, just being with your friend mm -hmm. and them teaching you how to do something. Yeah. Now, if you guys are interested in Play With Clay and you don't live close to there, I believe they, also ship packages. Also, it's a good idea, say you have a kid who baby has um, a birthday coming up and their birthday's been kind of wrecked. Perfect. You can pick up packs and take them home. Perfect thing for kids to do. And Perfect. then it's like totally socially distanced because you can just have the package and do it all at home and then like basically paint the things for and not have to spin it. For private a private class like we yeah. did. Yeah, it was just us. There's only us. And we just kept our masks on the whole time. Isabel had two masks on. I felt really safe the yes, whole time. Yes, absolutely. What were your final thoughts? I want to go back and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so we actually do go back and we're going to be like scraping our little designs in. When I get home, um, as a final little clip, I'll show you guys what Isabel made for me. I put it in my Huga video and I am just so thrilled that so many people have seen that and seen her business. But I'm gonna drive this lady home. Because you need my your booster. Give me a kiss. Also, we hope that you're all doing well and that you have a great Merry holiday Christmas. and you're staying safe and Merry you get Christmas. some cookies too. Yeah, I'm gonna get you some cookies. <laughs> Mom's gonna give you some cookies. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Scott also says good morning. <laughs> Scotty. Rosie is going crazy because she has her adventure vest on. And that is because we have two little elves. Two little elves. Bringing treats. Bringing treats. Scotty and I actually have um, a very sweets filled day today because I, I just got a package that I'm gonna open with you guys that I haven't opened yet. Cause I always think it's fun if it's like the first time. My mom is also gonna drop off some cookies, and I believe Rebecca, oh my God. who of course you guys know, yeah, Scotty, Rebecca. So for Rebecca's wedding, my mom and I bought her a KitchenAid mixer, and she's never been able to use it for literally two years because they were living in their really small apartment in Toronto, and they recently moved to Burlington, where now it's like literally three times the size. So she was able to go and get all of her gifts, all of her bridal gifts. And yes, two days ago, she broke out her KitchenAid. It's this like gorgeous cherry red. I'll put a picture of it right here. It's so stunning. And she started mixing things up. She said she made ginger cookies, lemon squares, dolly bars. And she said something about like a millionaire bar. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like there's just gonna be everything in it. So Scott and I are gonna be <laughs> Bouncing off the walls. Kind of like this girl. What do you think, Ro? Oh gosh, sometimes you just look so small. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys the most exciting thing ever. Let me pan down. We got brand new carpet on our stairs. And Rosie is absolutely thrilled. <laughs> our carpet. Let me go down once here. Oh, it's literally awkward. Um, our carpet before this was an absolute disaster. So we would just not even care about it because we knew we were gonna replace it. So we'd go up and down with our boots on. And now it is so nice. And the best part about it is obviously when you come in, it's the first thing you see. So thank you for modeling this carpet for me. <laughs> thank you so much. 
Little Ishanya. Little Ishanya Adventure Vest. Scotty and I are going for antigen tests today at 11, but it is before that, and we just want to have that done before our Christmas with these little girls. Just to make sure. Just to make sure, so we're gonna wear our masks for this little visit. We should head out to that right after this. Yeah, we should. <laughs> Hi, guys! Hi. <laughs> These are our treats. This is so cute. It's like in, did you see this? That it's in like a oh, little so thing? Cute. Yeah. And then this one is Scotty's. But Qu Quino had a little rip. These are my favorite. Those like little peanut butter marshmallow ones. So we're gonna put that in a different little Sorry. container. Okay, so Scotty has so kindly to be, agreed to be my cameraman. This is the pot that I wanted to show you. This is what Isabel made for us. We basically sent her a few Pinterest photos and on the bottom she wrote Hamilton, Ontario 2020 because that's when I got it from her to the baddest blonde in town and she put love, play with clay. And basically, this was, this is what it looks like. Um, originally, we had all of our utensils inside of a watering can. <laughs> right, Scotty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was yours. And, um, Next up, so we got a few packages, banana bread from my mom. This is the one that I have opened that I was shocked. This is so kind. So this is from Moe with so many indoor celebrations happening. They sent this gorgeous box, it smells amazing. There's a bunch of information about the brand. It came with these two gorgeous Chardon glasses. It says it on there. I think, oh my gosh! I didn't realize there's actually something under here, Scotty. Oh, is that a backgammon set? Or, what is that? Oh my gosh, okay, so we've got these two gorgeous bottles. I feel like I'm on the shopping network. <laughs> gorgeous! Wow, Scotty, I actually think, a backgammon set! That's so nice. That's so nice. Scotty and I love backgammon, and this one is way smaller than the one that we currently have, which mm. would be so helpful. Um, and also inside here are two of these, <laughs> <laughs> two of these artisan candles, which is why it smells so phenomenal. I don't want to break it because I feel like I am pulling the string out. Okay, yeah, so that is, <laughs> come on now, that is box number one. And then, whoop, and then today, oh, whatever. And then today we also, Rosie loves this stuff, got another box and I saw that it was from Rocket Promotions and I recently had an email with them and I haven't opened this up yet, as you can tell. And we were chatting all about um, chocolate because they represent lint Oh my gosh, I'm opening the wrong side. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> wow, that is so kind. We are very much a lint family, so this, we should bring some of this to our family Christmas. That is so kind, and I cannot wait. This would be my absolute favorite peppermint cookie. Mm. So we're gonna try those. Last but not least, we just picked up a few bits for our neighbor Lynn downstairs because she is absolutely obsessed with Rosie. So I will leave you with this cute little Polaroid of Rosie. We had to trauma, well, I had to traumatize her because I took one photo of her and it ended up being, there was no photos left in the Polaroid camera. So she was like shocked by the flash and I had to do it all over again. So, sorry, Ro. With that, that is the end of our vlog. If you stayed this long, please do let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys have a very safe and happy holiday, whether this goes out before the holiday season or not. Scotty and I are sending you so much love and hopefully you get some Lindor chocolate as well. Bye guys, see you in the next one. Bye Rosie.